This poor Z, what happened to you? What did they do to you? You poor thing! What's up guys? Welcome back. I got the car registered and I want to put the plate on and we can drive it today. There's a couple things that I want to do to make sure that it's really good. Do something with this headlight over here. Try to get this um, headlight bulb to work. Now both of these headlights are super broken. The tabs are missing. They're loose. I'll probably pull the bumper cover off and pull this out and see what I can see. The wiring's all kinds of messed up back there. Same with this one. It's pretty loose. Got this aftermarket HID stuff, so I'll probably attempt to pull that stuff out. And if I have good connectors in there still, then I might try and put a factory halogen bulbs in there to, to just to give me some headlights. You know, because I don't want to go out and you know end up start getting dark while I'm driving it, and I ain't got no headlights. So, also a battery tie down today. I got some J bolts from the auto parts store. I think what I'm going to do something pretty easy without spending too much time. Probably gonna take some of this um, one inch square and just cut a couple 45s like this and run bolt the J bolts through the, uh, the cut section. That way I don't, you know, it, it's super, super strong. It's, my, you know, it's a little overkill. If I had something like half inch or three quarter, it'd probably work. I would something other than flat stock like this you can make a, the cross section pretty easy problem is once you start tightening it down it'll flex a little bit which isn't the worst thing in the world but let's see if I can build something a little sturdier I also I think Andrew did that I also picked up some blinds for this window I think I'm just gonna self tap these things right into the metal because I can You don't need no stinking brackets. Man down! Really high up there. So I mean I need... I need to take my J-bolt. It needs to be about that long if I want to use it. <laughs> so... I yeah, cut it and tap it. Oh, look at that. It got like a sixteenth of an inch. That's like perfect. So yeah, this will work. Crazy. Got my vice mounted. And it's not the strongest workbench, but it's better than what I had before. Let's cut this thing. My last stroke just went viral! Nice and clean. These are all metric. M6 by 1. Well, after looking through my crappy Harbor Freight tap and die set, I don't have the right size. This is uh, M6 by 125. I don't have that thread pitch. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get creative. And I'm going to cut this one down a little bit more. And just go ahead and weld my threads right on there since I have a welder. I'm gonna just trying to get this done quickly so I can drive it. And that's that. So let's do that, shall we? Brand new glove. Look at that. So fancy. little bent. I'm going to try and straighten it a little bit. I got to have it pull off where I can touch it. I don't want to clamp down on these threads, so I'll probably just leave that. Clean it up a little bit. That will work for now.
This is the kind of stuff you got to do if you don't have a bandsaw or something cool to cut with. It's been a lot easier with a horizontal bandsaw. Alright, this is pretty not sharp now, but I always like to finish it up on my one of my favorite freaking uh, grinding wheels. I got a buffing wheel on here. You see it's kind of it's kind of like a soft, kind of like airy, porous kind of stone thing. It's a buffing wheel. It's my favorite. It just gives everything that super smooth, nice edge. I love that wheel. I love it. Makes a mess, but I like it. I gotta pop some holes in this for my bolts. My center punch, my auto center punch is at work. I gotta get another one of those. Just gonna chamfer these edges a little bit with my chamfering tool. Sharp edges off. There we go. Battery tie down. Simple, no welding. Simple tools around the shop. Went ahead and threw a little bit of black paint on there. I could trim that down a little bit, but. Oh no. Came right out. You know what? I was thinking about this. These aren't hooks, they're just L's. I was thinking that might be a little easier for them to pop out like they just did. So I'm gonna go turn them into hooks. Alright, I basically just stuck them in the vise, pounded on them. Until they bent down. I think that'll work. Hopefully. There we go. Much better. Tied down battery. It was quick. It was cheap. And it works. Pulled the headlight out. Passenger side headlight. This thing. This thing is a wiring nightmare. Whoever messed with this car. Aftermarket HIDs, but they completely hacked up the factory sub harness here, the headlight harness. Everything's spliced, everything's cut. Like, this is just, I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to go through. The good thing is, I, I, it looks like I'll be able to get a factory halogen bulb in there still. They didn't mess the mount and the spring clip up, so hopefully that would. That'll work. I can go to the store and get one of them. I don't know what this bulb does, but it's it's missing. It's been spliced into. I don't have the connector housing for the bulb though. This goes to the car, and they cut off the connector for the factory bulb. It's probably these two right here. Black and red one. That sucks. 
Maybe I can find, I can order just the wiring. The two bottom plastic mounts on this, these tabs were still good. So that's what was holding it in. I don't even want to bother with these aftermarket HIDs. I'm trying to rub marks all over this from when it was dangling in the fender well, rubbing on the tire. <laughs> I'm back from the parts store. I got my headlights. Halogens, just your basic, basic headlights, cheap ones. Actually, I got the one step up from the cheapest. Nothing but the fourth or third or fourth best for this car. What I'm going to do with this headlight, I'm going to... First, I'm going to figure out which wire is coming from the car powers the low beam, and then I'm going to but connect those to some other wires with some spade connectors run right into there. I'm not going to wait for a, a factory harness. Try to find one. Might take me a week or two to get. I'm just going to do it this way. They're, you know, quarter inch spade mail on this on this bulb. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. All right, right now the headlights are on and I'm assuming this red one, let's go to ground. Any good ground anywhere? There we go. 12 volts. Check continuity between this black one. Yep, that's ground. So I'm going to turn the headlight off and see if I still have power there. I got my, my butt connectors here without any plastic on them. Just little barrel, plain butt connectors. That way you can get a nice strong crimp and you can also inspect it after you crimp it. The ones that have plastic over them you can't see and you end up just tearing up the plastic when you go to crimp it. It's stupid. I got these enclosed quarter inch spade connectors that I'm going to use as I should, yep, fit nice and snugly on the bulb. Yay. Okay. I'll connect this other side to these two, the red and the black. Always test them after you do a pull on it a little bit. Make sure it doesn't come right apart. All right, let's go try it out. Hey, headlight. Look at the difference between the two. Should I run two different color headlights for a little bit? That'd be kind of funny. Yellow and blue. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow to work on it. We'll see.